If war is hell, then hell is also what awaits the wife, the husband, the parent, whose loved one returns from war and commits suicide. Ian Morrison was an Apache helicopter pilot in Iraq. I came home from graduate school and found my beautiful husband dead on the floor in our room. My gunshot wound. Too often, survivors complain the U.S. military, their second family, fails to intervene before it's too late. I was told by senior leadership, this sounds like a family issue to me, not an Army one. Dr. Michael McCatton went to the base hospital where he worked and hanged himself. They put their anger and their grief on display in order to get the attention of hundreds of military officers, health care workers, and researchers. Suicide in the armed forces has doubled since 2005. Through June 3rd, the military recorded 154 confirmed or suspected suicides. That's nearly one per day. More than the number of troops killed in Afghanistan during the same period, 127. No soldier should be lost to suicide. TV ads such as these air on military channels, urging battle buddies to look for signs of trouble. There's a suicide hotline that has fielded more than a half million calls since 2007. Suicide prevention hotline, how can I help you? Online chats and texting services available to soldiers in need. But behavioral scientists say the military needs to address the fundamental stigma of mental health problems. We have to really address this point that service members are afraid to get help because they're afraid that it won't be kept confidential. They're afraid it could harm their careers. Even with increased focus on the problem, relatives say caregivers need to respond more quickly and aggressively. He was failed. He was failed. And now he's dead. Rosalind Jordan, Al Jazeera, Washington.